What if this match is pure fire? That's true. Oh, it is mill. It is mill. Okay, I'm down and down for it, to be honest. If it's mill, I'm down. Uh, we're locked in. We're locked in. What time is it? Dude, it's almost one. All right, I'm locked. I'm locked. Sleep when you're dead. It's going to be soon if I don't get some sleep. <laughs> I'm down for the mill. They're 6 0 with the mill, too. They're 6 0. Prediction? Okay. Wait, hang on. Maybe you could find the result for this one, though. We've actually already maybe seen the result for. I'm not gonna do a prediction on this one because we theoretically the the result can be found already, so we're chilling. What is the matchup though? Lightning energy, fighting energy. Oh, it's raging bolt. Raging bolt versus mill. Okay. Let's go. Turn one mill, baby. We're cooking, we're cooking. Why does everyone play the Mimikyu in the mill deck? What is the Mimikyu good against? That we play the Mimikyu. Gotta be decent against something, right? Dude, they're about to mill them back. Cause Oh, wait, they actually can. Wait, that would be... <laughs> Dude, that'd be a crazy win condition in this matchup. Because the mill deck decks itself out so aggressively. Imagine the... You use Mew and you play Sada, so you can play Sada to use Mew to copy their Great Tusk and mill them back. Kind of broken. Hopefully, see we see a turn one mill here though. I'm rooting for a turn one mill. They might just like body them here, to be honest. Interesting that they didn't play heavy the nest ball first there to get another little dude. Out. Oh, they got it. They got the double turbo. But what else do they take here? What else do they prioritize? Are we not taking the double turbo here? Oh no, they're lining up the discards. <laughs> taking the track and choose is kind of wild to be honest. Oh, they have a double turbo in hand, I guess. I didn't see that. So maybe you do discard it. Let's see what they go for. They're valuing the Mimikyu here, which is interesting. Yeah, they already got the double turbo locked up, so. So would they get Mimikyu in the tool card? The tool card's weird. The 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 pivot tool card? They already have one in hand. Do we need another one? What do we need another one for? Oh, there's an artisan in play too. Oh, is that's how we got the first one. Why do we get the why do we get the second pivot tool card? What do we need that for? Maybe to put on the Greninja? I guess that's fine, I guess. Oh, it's a comfy. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. They got a that's a comfy. Okay. So they send up the comfy, they get like a free card to work with. Alright, that's kinda cool. That's kinda cool. There's the mill four. Living off the top deck. It is a Sada, but there's nothing to attach the Sada energy to. They do have Artisan to work with now, so now they can Artisan for a Coridon and then Sada to the Coridon. And then hopefully get an E switch and then mill them back. Maybe they just wait though. The reverse mill honestly is kind of kind of funny. <laughs> the reverse mill, dude. <laughs> hey, there we go. Another great tusk is on the way. Do they realize that the reverse mill is coming? Do they see it happening? Yeah, the Comfy is kind of cute, to be honest. I like extra card. Is there something better than Comfy to push up? Um, yeah, is there something better than Comfy to potentially push up in these situations? Or no, is Comfy just the, the, the best? I think he'd know. Does he know, though? He might not know. I checked. You ch you already been cooking uh, Great, uh, Great Tusk? There we go. There's something that draws a single card, right? I don't know. Is there? We've had those in the past, like the Audino, and there was something else in the past, too. Do we have something right now that while it's in the active draws one card? I actually don't know. All right, there we go. Mill four. 
No, the Coridon got milled. Does it only play one Coridon? Because now we can't Artisan for anything. Oh, we top deck Nest Ball though, so we're good. But we're not going for the mill strategy. We got to go for the mill strategy here. Now the reverse mill strategy is probably not correct, right? You could save it. You could save it for the end of the game. Oh, it's weak to psychic. <laughs> I was like, what? That thing has a plus 100 HP. How did it die? But it is weak to psychic. It is weak to psychic. Okay. Bravery charm in the hand. A couple hapus. No basic energy in the discard pile. Basic energy. There it is. So now you can Greninja it away. Draw two more. Sada back into play. Draw three more. Oh, there's no Sada in the hand, actually. But they do have two Pokey Gears, so they can definitely find the Sada. All right. Vessel, no Sada still. Dude, honestly, actually, I kind of believe in this reverse mill strategy that could become... They took their time. I just attach, attach, attach. I actually think they can beat them with the the play here. Because the, the Great Tusk player keeps playing the game, like, as much as possible. I wonder if they're just going to run to Mimikyu now, though. Oh, no, no, wait. The Mew copies the other thing, and KO's the Mimikyu. Can't do that. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm chilling. Going with the Vessel first. Can you get rid of the Bravery Charm here? Because the Bravery Charm even matter. I guess it can make Mimikyu stall for an extra turn. They definitely want to find Sada, though. Yeah, the Great Tusk is burning through their deck super fast. I actually think we could see, like, the reverse... Like, they're milling, like... They're taking, like, more than four cards out of their deck every single turn here. So as long as the Mew player sees the play, it feels like this could end up working. I assume they want to go for a Sada here, but they could just go attach attack as well. They don't have the Sada, I guess, right? Or did they already Sada? I don't even remember. Did you pass? Are they waiting to increase their odds of drawing into a Sada? They didn't play a they didn't play a ancient supporter that turn, so they can't they can't actually mill with Great Tusk. All right, so Artisan use coming in. The Coridon did get milled. Oh, there's another Coridon though, so they could grab another Coridon. Going with Pidgey. I mean, they're gonna get swung on this turn though for eighty. Oh, wait, they actually win that. Wait, 80, attach, 80. No, they lose that trade. Never mind. Wait, actually, do they win that trade? 80, attach, 80. Wait, they actually win that trade. They could actually... But their stadium could get bumped, and then they're all of a sudden they're losing the trade. So they can't wait for that. Yeah, they can't wait for their stadium to potentially get bumped. Time for me to wake up. Okay, now they're still playing the game here. Now here comes the look for the Sada. No Sada. What if the mill guy that just starts hitting with Tusk? Well, if they start attacking with Tusk, then the, the Mew player will bench something else. They just don't have a reason to bench anything else yet. But they could, they could the Tusk attack could happen. They're not going to even try for another Sada here. They're just going right to the Hapu. Cause they, could, they had another Poke Gear in hand, so they could have tried for it. Feels like they should have tried for it, to be honest. I don't know. Got a double turbo. And what's the other thing? A Bravery Charm? Why are they valuing the Bravery Charm so highly here? Maybe that's not a Bravery Charm. Maybe I'm misseeing that thing. What is it? It is a Bravery Charm. Why are we valuing the Bravery Charm so highly here? That feels weird. I guess it's like another card we have in hand that we can shuffle back into the deck with the Pidgeot. Oh, we, oh, wait. Double turbo, we can actually swing this turn for 140. Oh, so now we're pressuring the KO already. Okay, so this makes sense. This makes sense. I didn't even, like, think about that for a second there, to be honest. I think all the other cards just sucked. 
Is the trekking shoes not better than the bravery charm? Maybe not. Okay, this may, that, yeah, the double turbo there makes a ton of sense. We're pressuring right now. So now, we gotta respect it. But you can just KO this, this bird with a, you can still just KO this bird with um, uh, a Raging Bolt this turn. Nest Ball for Raging Bolt, and then KO it. Preserve our Mew, so that we still have that option of the Mew play. It's got, what, 180 HP left, so we got to discard three energy. It wouldn't be too difficult. You can even bench the Sandy Shock, so you can accelerate energy there. But I guess if you put too many Pokemon in play, then they get countercatchered. I don't know, going to the pitch out was, like, interesting. It's really good if your opponent's dead drawing, but there was nothing, like, telling us that the Raging Ball player was dead drawing here. Now we just give up. We're just kind of sitting there while both of us don't. Well, you don't mill and they just draw cards and then you just get knocked out. Sandy Shocks doesn't work yet. No, just like to have another target to accelerate energy too, though. Just like put Sandy Shocks in play to accelerate the extra Sada energy too. Because that would only get one energy. Puts the Ancient Tool in play. Doesn't really need to put the Ancient Tool in play, I don't think. I don't know how much I don't know how valuable putting extra energy in play actually is to be honest, but Yeah, retreat mill three. Or excuse me, discard three. Is it two or do so do we play more towards getting back into Mew? So you could discard three off Mew so you can attack with Raging Bolt again. But you want to be able to get back into the Mew, I feel like. There we go. There's the KO. Three prize cards left. So you have the option of the Raging Ball attack and the Mew attack. But I assume Great Tusk is coming back up to the active here now and starting to make some more moves. See if we can find a Sada finally. There is a Great Tusk prize, I believe. And the great counter catcher doesn't have a ton of value here. So we probably go heavy ball for the Great Tusk. Yeah, there it is. Also priced two pal pad, it looked like. And now we see the Poke Gear come down. Probably don't bench the Great Tusk yet. Yeah, it's because you bench lock yourself had a Pidgeot. I don't know how much that matters, but Dude, there's oh there's only eight cards left in the deck. Yo, the mill strategy is definitely real right now. The reverse mill. And after the Sada's played, there's only gonna be Four cards left in the deck. The Mew isn't set up to be able to attack with yet, but... One, two, three. Can we get into the Mew, though, is the question. Also, once again, do they see the Mew play, I guess, is something. They're not going to naturally deck out, of course, because they have the Pidgeot and a Super Rod. But will they be able to actually get there? Mill four. Sada milled. The switch card. That's the big one. We do have a pal pad to recover double Sada here. I see a vessel. I see a... I think there's a Sada in the hand. But we need the switch. No, we could hard retreat as well, though. You could just attach bench. What is the retreat cost on Raging Paul? Is it two or three? You appreciate the two month reset there, Coco Baggins. Three? Three. Sheesh. All right, so we could go Sada Sada here. We can go Palpat back to Sada, play Sada, draw onto a Sada, attach active, attach bench, Sada again. They go play a Nest Ball. So they're just getting a Raging Bolt. So that means they want to build a Sada 2 energy into play. But no, the, I think the win condition is always the Mew. I think if you, I don't know how many cards are left in the deck. Maybe you can play the game more normally here, to be honest. You might actually, because of the Pidgeot KO, maybe you can actually just win the game normally here. It's possible. Possible is possible. We have to discard three energy to knock this thing out. Is he attached to the Mew? Maybe they're setting up for it.
Yes, the Mew's around. Let's go. They didn't find the Switch card, though. They need to find the Switch card. They have Vessel in hand to get energy out of the deck. If there's energy left in the deck... They have like a 10 to 12. It looks like maybe like a 12, 12 to 15 card deck there. Can they attach DTE, Countercatcher, KO Mew? Ooh, maybe they maybe could KO the Mew here. All right, they're decked out, but they have double super rod. They're not going for the Pidgeot. Now they're going for the Pidgeot. Okay. Tusk Pidgeot, energy. Can Artisan for the the Great Tusk. Oh, but I guess they have to play Asada here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I think they're going to play Asada here anyways. I guess we'll see. No. Have they, have they, they played Hapu already. They already played a supporter. What am I? Tro I'm trolling. They already played a supporter. They do need to play a supporter, but they already did it. We're chilling, we're chilling. All right, mill four. What is it? No, off the rip, off the... And the prime catcher! Dude, no! Hang on, they got the energy. That's the top deck. They just need a switch cart. Oh, no, they need to play Asada and a switch cart. No, they're out of switch cards. Dude, that's so tragic. Oh my gosh. But they also could have just played to retreat their their raging bolt as well. They they did like a play into the situation where they can't retreat their active on But that mill was actually insane. If they didn't get that mill, then it was definitely a big uh, definitely very possible to have won this turn as the with the mute with the strategy. But they could have like played slower and not and like left energy on raging bolt and just like hard retreated raging bolt this turn. They are grabbing two Sada now, though. I don't think there's any switch cards left, though. I think that was it. How many energy left, though? Can the Great Tusk even play a supporter to get the mill four? Yeah, they, they have supporters left. They might just win the deck out war. No, no, no. The, the, the Great Tusk player plays Pidgeot V. They can't deck out. Quick card count. What, about 12? Trekking, give it up. Not a Sada. One more trekking shoes. But the Sada doesn't matter, I don't think. Unless there is another, there might be. What is it, a boss? Yeah, boss I don't think does it here. They got plenty of like energy and stuff left. Boss draw, has attached retreat. Then needs the Sada or something. Man, you really do deck yourself out here pretty fast with this Great Tusk. You kind of do need to play the Pidgeot V, to be honest. There's the Mill 4. There was the Energy Retrieval. Sadas are gone, but I don't know if they have it. I don't even know if there's a Switch card left. I don't even know if it mattered, to be honest. I don't. Th Maybe you could have Raging Bolted through the active. There's a Super Rod left. I don't think they can get access to it, though. Yeah, I, I think the I think the raging ball player could have played a little bit he more aggressively towards the copy attack to get the win here. To be honest, but now they just they don't have an out at all here. I don't think the mills were rough here. <laughs> the mills were rough. You can check your deck like that. They used artisan. They used artisan. Yeah, boss on something, but it's not gonna matter. Energy in hand to retreat. Oh, you have to play with a card in your deck left as well. Oh. Mill four. There we go. That's the dub. Wow, Great Tusk went hard there. That was actually pretty sick. 